Hi, my name is Andy Hansen, and I'm the Director of Vocational Marketing at International Trucks. And today, we're gonna to talk about the S13 Integrated Power Train. But before we do that, let's take a look at the vehicle that will first be launched in, in the vocational space, and that's the HX620. The HX620 comes with a 119-inch bumper-to-backer cab dimension. It has an aggressive setback axle position of 50 inches and comes in two axle configurations, a 6x4 or an 8x6. Both those configurations are available with up to three pusher axles installed at the factory. Also, the HX620 has a variety of cab configurations, the day cab here or a 56-inch low-rise or high-rise sleeper, or the 73-inch high-rise sleeper. Now that we know a little bit about the vehicle, let's take a look underneath the hood. Before we jump into the S13 powertrain and specifics, let's talk a little bit about how it was developed. The S13 integrated powertrain will be the first Trayton Group product released in North America. The product was developed underneath this group, which combined have over 400 years of automotive history. We spent hundreds of millions of dollars on its development. The S13 integrated powertrain consists of three elements, a 13 liter diesel engine, a dual stage after treatment device, and a 14 speed automated manual transmission. Now let's talk about its individual components. This is the S13. It's a 12.7 liter engine the S13 has got a dual overhead 24 valve cam. It's got a fixed geometry turbo, which is very reliable. The S13 also comes with a 23 to one compression ratio. Using the clean burn technology, the engine produces far less soot than a cooled EGR engine. It's also important to note that this S13 doesn't use cooled EGR. The S13 can be equipped with either a Repto or a Fepto. If the Repto is ordered, it comes with a 1410 flange. If the Fepto is ordered, it comes with an SAE companion flange. Now that we know a lot about the engine, let's take a look at the after treatment. With the engine maximizing the fuel's potential, it ends up producing less soot. And because it produces less soot, active regens aren't required with the S13 integrated powertrain, which means there's no seventh injector or diesel oxidization catalyst, or better known as a DOC, which brings us to the after treatment system. The after treatment system is a dual stage system. It does have a DPF, but only passive regeneration of that DPF is required. And if it is required, the engine will put an artificial load on itself and burn off the soot, turning it into ash. In the event that the after treatment does need to be serviced, the DPF can be accessed through this panel. Now that we know about the emission system, let's take a look at the T14 automated manual transmission. The third piece of the integrated powertrain is the T14 transmission. The T14 transmission has 14 forward gears with two crawler gears starting at 20 to 1, going all the way up to an overdrive of 0.78. This gives you an overall ratio of 26.7. This allows you to do slow speed work as well as keep the engine RPMs low at highway speed. The T14 transmission is unique in that it uses an electronic clutch actuator along with a counter shaft brake in combination with an organic clutch to provide smooth, fast shifting. The T14 transmission is also the lightest and shortest automated manual transmission in the class eight vocational space. This is accomplished by removing three synchronizers and using a planetary gear set in a unique way to remove the reverse gear. Speaking of reverse, the T14 transmission is available with up to six reverse gears, allowing you to back up quickly when need be. And finally, no conversation about the T14 transmission is complete without mentioning that it's available with an integrated PTO. It's factory installed. 
can be ordered with either a single or a dual. These PTOs are available with typical North American companion flanges. And finally, the T14 transmission is available in multiple drive modes, including Performance Plus and Off-Road. And if you ever get stuck, the T14 transmission has got a rocking mode, which will allow you to break free. All combined, the S13 integrated powertrain offers stellar performance in a creative yet simple design, allowing you to focus on what's important, and that's getting the job done.